<laughs> so this is how bad it's gotten. This is a real commercial that this play, they're called the Bridge Project. They're, now they're red baiting all these people in Congress. This is just one of the people that are running a commercial like this. Have you heard about this Bridge Project, bro? Listen to this. It's going to Владимир Путин. И все русские смеются над американцами. That's the sound of the Russians and Vladimir Putin laughing at us. They're getting away with undermining our democracy. And Congresswoman Martha McSally doing about it? Nothing. McSally won't even support an independent investigation. Here's what we already know. Donald Trump's campaign manager, Paul Manafort, was reportedly paid $12 million by a pro-Russian political party. Trump's national security advisor, Michael Flynn, had to resign after lying about communicating with Russia. And now, American intelligence officials say they are concerned about Trump's ties to Russia. But still, Congresswoman Martha McSally is refusing to support an independent commission to investigate President Trump's connections to Russia. <laughs> the jokes are new, America. <laughs> Paid for by American Bridge, 21st century. What exactly are they building a bridge to? World War III? I mean, and they couldn't even get a guy who does a decent accent. They, didn't, they don't know who Mike McRae is? <laughs> So what is the bridge, the bridge, the bridge, they're called the bridge project, right? So the bridge, where does the bridge go to? Dick Cheney's bank account? Am I right? What are you about? So you haven't heard about the bridge project? I had, I'd never seen that. No. So what do you think about something like this? Isn't that Pretty scary? tacky. And say, I mean, you know, the whole, the, 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 what I don't understand is when our party is quoting John McCain and Lindsey Graham, I mean, who, who really uh, wanted the Cold War. And... You know, the, the history of this is so obvious in that we agreed not to expand NATO uh, past 1990. Well, people and, don't know this. Part of the, Ronald Reagan had an agreement with Gorbachev, correct? Yeah. And what was the agreement? The agreement was basically we would have Germany uh, as part of NATO, but we won't expand into the Baltics. We expanded into the Baltics. Then we expanded into Ukraine. Then we supported uh, a, uh, a someone uh, this toppling of a prime minister who was elected by people who had strong support in Crimea. So, the, so we overthrew a democratically elected ruler and we installed a right wing strongman. I wouldn't put it that way, but that's the way you're. But we, 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 because they were more, they were more favorable to but, the but, European. So the Union. point is having de escalation with Russia to make the world a safer place is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And and and. And it's something that, frankly, the Democratic Party has supported for the last 50 years. And we were the party that uh, criticized sort of McCarthyism and criticized uh, an, an escalation. So, look, and I'm, maybe I'm too nuanced. So you can have 10% of your thing say, look, we shouldn't have interference in our elections. Let's investigate it. But the, 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 there shouldn't be this grumpy to uh, to war and to bashing Russia and to quoting Lindsey Graham and John McCain's positions on it. Oh, let's how about a round of applause for that? I don't know. I like being afraid of Russians. Anybody else? Uh, I can tell you personally. They got him thrown. I can tell you personally that it is very empowering installing a puppet. <laughs> it's very liberal.